What's up, baby? <coughs> Starting off already great, huh? What's up, everybody? It's your boy Slick Tactics, and welcome to Slick vs. Shots, where I will be doing... Well, yeah. I'm messing up already. Where, what's going on? I'm only two shots in! What's up everybody, it's your boy Slick Tactics and welcome to Slick vs. Shots where I answer a bunch of y'all questions about a video game versus the certain shot I'm using. And today's shot is Jack Daniels. Yes, Jack Daniels is back. And the game we're doing is Street Fighter. So I asked a bunch of people, just gave me some questions about Street Fighter. And so we're going to answer them. And for next time, just be sure to follow me on Twitch and I'll say which game I'm going to do and yeah, go ahead. I'll probably also do it on Discord and YouTube and all that other stuff so I can get as much as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and take this another shot, let it sit in, we're going to start asking some of these questions. So let's go. First question, why do people match DP online? Well, because it works. To news figure out how to stop getting destroyed by mashing DP, people are gonna keep doing it. So, yeah. <laughs> what makes Street Fighter 3 the best Street Fighter? Huh. Well, for me, I like Remy as the best Sonic Boom character. Sean is one of my favorite characters of all time. That's the best Akuma has ever been, in my opinion. Same thing with Ken and Chung Lee. And I also like the Third Strike characters. And of course, the parrying system. Yeah. Uh, shoot, Street Fighter 3 has definitely been my favorite of the Street Fighters, with 4 being very close because, you know, jury. But other than that, 3 has been really, really better. This gameplay style is a lot better, the picking your supers, parrying, and the characters. It's just, just better. It's hard to compete with that one. Especially since, you know, the competition is not that hard to fight against. I mean, yeah. Two is good. One was horrible, <laughs> but that, that's one. One was ancient, but yeah. I mean, all of them are good in their own way. But if I had to rank them, it would be three, four, two, five. Yeah. More shots. Woo. <laughs> My chest is very warm right now. Just to let y'all know that. Who's the best Sasuke no Hado character other than Thanos? I mean, well, there's a lot more people stronger than Thanos with the Sasuke no Hado. You got Lucario, you got Sakura, you got Sean, you got Pikachu, and you got Jiri. Why do I keep going back to Pokemon? I'm trying to think some other Sasuke no Hado characters, but all I can think of is Lucario. <laughs> But yeah, Lucario is definitely a stronger Sasuke no Hado here. Have you seen that man when he snaps? He is a monster. 
Also, Sean. Sean looked like a beast. Sakura and Jiri, of course, you know, their Hado powers are just ridiculously strong. But yeah, Thanos is not that powerful. I mean, what have Thanos done with it? Nothing. This nigga just showed it off in his hand in Infinite and just said, bye. <coughs> yeah. Explain? Okay, this one. I've been able to say all the questions up till here easily, but I gotta actually hold the phone and read this one because I keep messing up. Ugh. Explain how to zoom in on Mika's butt is critical to her gameplay. Well, that's easy. When that uh, when that butt gets smacked, it drives the person who's playing her more adrenaline to make him go in. He like, yes, mm, yes, yes. Did I do it right? Did I do it like Bison? Okay, hold on. Side to side visual. Yes. Oh no, he he had the phone like this. Yes. Okay, there we go. One more time. Yes! Oh my god, this is like a bit on his way! My mom probably like, what the fuck is this boy doing downstairs? <laughs> ah. Okay, from now on, I don't think I have the, uh, the ability to remember these questions. <laughs> so now I gotta hold this phone. <laughs> I've been trying. I've been trying. Nope, that one's empty. This one's not. I love this cup because it says... Eh, I don't want to spill this. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I love this saying. <laughs> okay. If Ryu haven't been, if Ryu hadn't been in Street Fighter One, who do you think would be the poster child for the series? I mean, if it's not Ryu, it would have been Ken. But honestly. If, since you know most of the time Street Fighter kind of started at 2 because a lot of people don't remember 1 like that most a lot of people start off with 2 so I would say the poster child could have been Chung Lee as the first playable female fighting character that would have been very iconic but if not her Ken if not Ken Gao the Nasa Gao I would say that's it I don't think nobody else would be worthy as a poster child after that <laughs> I mean, you can't really use the bosses as the poster child because they're the bosses. I don't think Blanca would have been popular enough. Dallison, no. Yonda, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Ryu, Ken, Chung Li. I was about to say Bison, Gao. Ugh. Why can't she. Mm, why can't Street Fighters seem to make up their minds about how canon they want things to be? What? Uh, last I checked, all the games except for like, I want to say Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max is canon, because it's impossible for Street Fighter 3 Alpha Max to be canon. Because like, Yoon is supposed to be like a little kid during that time, but he, nah, he's a grown ass adult in that, um, in that game. But uh, I don't know, but last I checked, everything kind of fits right, like everything makes sense from what I remember. So... I don't know. Everything seems to be canon. Unless you know something I don't know. Sweetie. You know something I don't know? Tell me! Whew. Why is Makoto always punching somebody in the ball slash ovaries? Because it's a street fight. I mean, hey, if you want to win, you won't punch a nigga in the nuts. I mean, shit. Somebody like twice my height, he got the muscles, he over here got me in a bear hug, and I can't do shit about it. I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to palm the fuck out of them balls, and I'm going to twist the fuck out of them. Whatever it takes to win. Punch a nigga in the nuts. Kick a girl in the cooch. Whatever it takes to fucking win. I'm just saying. There's money on the line. Like, how much do they win if they win the World Warrior? Like, a shit ton of money? I think a shit ton of money. So... Man, poke the nigga in the eye, chop him in the neck. Like, oh, ho, hold on, I got a stomach cramp. They turn around, ow, fuck out of here. Give me my money. Niggas over here shooting energy balls out their hand, fire fist, and jumping off walls that's not even there. So, what's wrong with punching a nigga in the nuts? I think that's fair, isn't it? I think it's fair. Ugh. I was not at all. Where am I? Woo! I said, now I've done this at nighttime. Then again, I'm always up at night. I go to sleep at the day. Ugh, where am I? What question is this? Mm. Why did Ryu have to be the person to go against Bison? 
despite no other reason than poster boy itis. I mean, I may be a little drunk, but I'm pretty sure a lot of other people went up against Bison. Like Chung Li, Jury, Gao. Did Akuma ever fight Bison? Uh Seth. A lot of people has fought and fight. A lot of people has fought in Bison before. Even Char yeah, Charlie, Nash, whatever he wants to be called. A lot of people has fought in Bison before. So that's nothing new. Wait, what? <laughs> Why does Guy have profound sadness? You know, every now and then I would say that word. I just like how he used to say it in Street Fighter 4. Profound sadness. But the reason why he has profound sadness is because one, you don't never see this dude with a girl, so he, he can't get his rocks off because you know he up in that ninja academy with a bunch of dude ninjas and little ninja girls, so he can't do nothing with them. He can't touch them because he's going to get in trouble and gout not about that life. So he has no way to get his rocks off because I don't see no adult ninjas around here. He can't do nothing. And he has to buy new sneakers every time he fights. All that running around, jumping off walls and stuff, he is fucking the sneakers up. So he has to go back to Payless and buy them cheap ass shoes because he can't keep buying Nike because they're expensive as fuck. And being a ninja is cheap. You do not make a lot of money being a ninja. So I'll be profound sadness too. I got to buy new shoes all the time and there ain't no female ninjas around for me to go jump around parties with. I can't do primary loads on a female. Nah, that don't work, fam. Profound sadness. Ugh. I'm a survivor. I can make it. Not gonna stop. What? Gonna go work harder. I must. No, no, no. Do not start doing that slick. What the fuck? <laughs> I was really about to start singing this song. I can't sing for shit. Y'all don't wanna hear that. <laughs> turn on that auto sync. Ooh, I have voice. No. No, do not turn on voice mod and start singing for these people slick. They don't deserve it. They not ready for that. How y'all doing today? Y'all doing good? Snacks? No, no, no. Why am I pulling a deck? What the fuck? I gotta do my own shit. <laughs> Move it on. What the heck is the point of Neo Shadow Lou? Why do they need Ryu for anything that, as implied by the arcade edition opening? You got me. After season two of Street Fighter, I stopped paying attention to what is going on in that game. <laughs> but, um... I guess his Hado is better than anybody else's Hado, so they want to harness that energy, though. What do Neo Shalu even want to do? Because they're not bad guys, right? I have no clue what they want to do with Ryu. <laughs> I'm lost. What do they want? What would... Hmm. Let's see. Edgy boxer boy, emo goth girl. With the power of darkness, what would they do? I got it. They want Ryu Sasuke Nahado to use their edgy darkness to open up a rival company against Hot Topic and rule the world with golf clothes. It's that simple. It's that easy. I'm a genius. That's their plan. They're trying to run the world and destroy Hot Topic in the competitions of clothing. That's, that's all you can do with that much edginess. I mean, what else would they do? Take over the world by beating up people? That's stupid. Like, come on, man. I'm just going to host a tournament, bring all the strongest comp fighters there, and we're going to fight fist to fist. And I'm going to take over the world by doing it. That is stupid. I mean, who in their right mind would think that that is a great type of idea? I'm good right now. <laughs> well, Street Fighter V, a succubus. Totally drank the fuck out of me. That's a random question to say, man. But, yeah. Uh, that game drained me. Like, the beta was fun. Then I got my hands on the game. I was like, ugh. This is just going with the motions with this game. And then I met Cammy, and I was like, okay, Cammy's pretty fun. Then turns out she's the high tier character, and people, you know how people always like, oh, you only pick her because she's high tier. I'm like, nah, she just, she just feels good. Cammy was really fun. Laura too. Oh my god, I love Laura. And when she got the second V trigger, that's that sway. Ah, just kidding, nuggy nuggy. Oh man, I love her. But uh, it's definitely draining. Drain my pockets. But then again, shout out to Toroppa buying season three for me 
Because I was like, I'm not spending no more money on this game. So he helped me out with those characters. So thank you. Because they wasn't draining me no more. This damn sucky bits of a game. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very draining game. Especially anti-air light punch. This Every time that happens to me, I die a little bit inside. I think I got like seven more anti-air light punches in me before I go fucking nuts. That's why I barely ever play the game. Especially, no. Yeah, anti-air light punch drains me, but anti-air light punch when I'm on the other side of you, so your shoulder, so this shoulder that's not even doing anything hurts me. That really drains me. That shit kills me. Oh my fucking God, I hate anti-air light punch. That shit is so fucking stupid. Uh, when are y'all gonna fix that? I understand the fundamentals of footsie and you're not supposed to jump a lot, but goddamn. At least make punishing effort effortful, not effortless. Just like dude, the second somebody jump. Oh yeah, get the fuck out of this guy. That's just so fucking annoying. <sighs> Fix How hot is Hakan's wife? I don't even remember how she you know what? I forgot I have a computer right here. <laughs> do 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 how do you spell this man's name? Icon W I F E. Hmm. Images. This is wife? Uh, she is a baddie. His kids got some weird ass hairstyles, but she is a freaking baddie. Like, y yo, yo. Hmm. That is a snack. How did he back her? He must have a. Um, let me stop. I've done saving already axes. Was Siege Fighter a. Se oh. Why did I thought he said sucky this earlier? <laughs> <laughs> this man said, Was Street Fighter 5 a success? Oops. <laughs> well, huh, what is a success? Isn't that like an accomplishment of. Your goal or purpose? What was Street Fighter V's goal? To piss people off? Because that's so they was a definite success. Uh, did they make their like to me? A game is successful if they make their money back. Did they make their money back? I think they did. So is it success? Not a great success, but success nonetheless. If you make your money, if a game is like it took three thousand dollars to make and you make three thousand dollars, it's a success. You broke even successfully. And I think Street Fighter have definitely made their money back, so yeah. But the game still sucks. Fix light punch. Nine nine balls of beer on the wall. Nine nine balls of beer. You take one down, you pass it around. You got nine nine balls of beer on the wall. Nine two balls of beer on the wall. Nine two balls of beer. I'm looking for these questions. I lost the shit. Where the fuck are the rest of these questions? I swear I had more questions. That's about Kingdom Hearts. Why the fuck do I have pictures of water slides and that's a picture of Shaggy and Smash Brothers? That is a monster, the ultimate god. That is the devil with short hair. Damn, she's sexy. Wait, what? Power line. I need to watch the Goofy movie again. What are these questions? <laughs> I need an adult. I am an adult. Uh, but I need to watch a, a Dragon Ball Z a bridge again. That shit ton of pictures. Just so you know, I have 7,725 pictures in my freaking phone. That is a lot of pictures. And I lost where all the questions were. And I don't know how long this video has been going because there is no timer on this thing. I just hit the record button, but there's no timer. I don't know long, how long this video has been going for me to stop. So let me find all the freaking questions again because they are lost somewhere in the sauce. And my chest is very, very warm. Nope. One more. I found a question. This is the last one. It's by my brother. And this man said, How long will it take E Honda to get through Chung Lee's lightning kicks and touch the puh? <laughs> 